This video is about the light reactions of photosynthesis. It's topic 3.5 of AP Biology. What do the light reactions produce? Where do these reactions occur? What are the inputs and the outputs? Describe how the light reactions of photosynthesis create ATP. Describe how the light reactions create reducing power, NADPH, that can be used in the Calvin cycle. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that successful learning requires interaction and feedback, and we're so sure of that that your subscription to learn-biology.com comes with a money-back guarantee. What do the light reactions produce? Where do these reactions occur? What are the inputs and the outputs? The light reactions convert the energy in light into the chemical energy of NADPH and ATP. NADPH is an electron carrier. It's like NADH in cellular respiration. ATP is the molecule that cells use to build things. It's the workhorse of the cell. Where does it occur? It occurs in the thylakoids. Oxygen is the waste product, as well as NADPH and ATP. And the inputs are light and water. The outputs of the Calvin cycle are the inputs of the light reactions. So NADP plus and ADP and P are the inputs. Those get fed into the light reactions. ATP and NADPH go out. What are the key structures involved in the light reactions? So we have a chloroplast over here, and then at N we have a grana and a single thylakoid membrane. So this whole thing here is a thylakoid membrane. Within the thylakoid membrane, there are photosystems. Those are complex assemblies of proteins, and they have embedded chlorophyll molecules, those little green dots. Are chlorophylls. And those photosystems, those are the things that actually convert light energy, shown here at A and shown here at D, into a flow of electrons. This whole array is kind of like a solar panel that's converting light energy into electricity. They're also splitting water molecules, and that happens in photosystem too. Let's just get this out of the way right now. In the organization of the photosystems in the thylakoid membrane. Photosystem two comes before photosystem one. For years, biology students have been memorizing that and you have to memorize it too. So this is the electron pathway through which electrons flow. And at one point, those electrons flow through proton pumps. They're labeled as cytochromes, but there's other stuff going on too. And what these do is they pump protons from the stroma into the thylakoid space. And over here is an enzyme called ATP synthase. And as the protons that are trapped here diffuse through this, they generate ATP. This is where NADPH is created. This is an overview. We're going to go through the details right now. Describe how the light reactions of photosynthesis create ATP. Photo excitation of chlorophyll in photosystem 2 leads to a flow of electrons along an electron transport chain in the thylakoid membrane. That electron transport chain, that's an electrical current, and it powers a device. In this case, the device is a proton pump that's embedded in the thylakoid membrane, and that pumps protons from the stroma into the thylakoid space. So here's the stroma, here's the thylakoid space. We're pumping from the stroma into the thylakoid space, and that creates a chemiosmotic gradient. Chemiosmotic, what does that mean? Well, there are all these protons that are over here, and there are very few over here. It took energy to do that. And that gradient is a diffusion gradient, and it's also an electrical gradient. And that causes these protons to want to diffuse from the thylakoid space back to the stroma. They can't do it through any part of the thylakoid membrane except through this channel that's called ATP synthase. The ATP synthase channel is also an enzyme, and as protons diffuse through, the kinetic energy of those protons is used to power an endergonic reaction of taking ADP and phosphate and making it into ATP. Now note that there's also this water-splitting complex that's part of photosystem 
two. And what it does is it takes water molecules, splits them apart to create oxygen, that's a waste product, but also to create protons. And those protons accumulate in the thylakoid space that enhances the gradient and it powers additional ATP production. Are you looking for a better way to study for the AP Bio exam and to get an A in your AP Bio course? At learn-biology.com, we've got exactly that. We've got quizzes, we've got flashcards, we've got interactive tutorials that'll help you master the material that you're studying. We have comprehensive reviews for the AP Bio exam. We'll help you switch from overwhelmed to outstanding student. See you on learn-biology.com. Describe how the light reactions create reducing power, NADPH, that can be used in the Calvin cycle. So we're gonna start over here. We're looking at photosystem one. Photo excitation of chlorophylls in photosystem one is how the process starts. That creates a flow of electrons that's flowing through the electron transport chain of photosystem one. And over here, those electrons flow to this enzyme, it's called NADP plus reductase, and that reduces NADP plus into NADPH. Reduction, that's a thing from chemistry. Reduction is gain of electrons, so that NADP plus is gonna gain electrons and uh, hydrogen, making it into NADPH, and why? Because during the Calvin cycle, that NADPH provides the electrons and hydrogens that reduce carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Use the Z scheme to summarize the light reactions. So the Z scheme is a graphical representation of everything that happens in the light reactions. This axis over here, the y-axis, shows electron energy. So what happens? Light drives electron boosting from photosystem two. Remember, photosystem two comes first. And so that electron goes to a much higher energy level. And at the same time, water is split apart into protons and oxygen gas. Then there's electron flow through the electron transport chain of photosystem two, and that goes through proton pumps that power the synthesis of ATP from ADP and phosphate. Those electrons arrive at photosystem one. They're relatively low energy at this point. You can see that by their position on the graph, but light comes in and it stimulates chlorophylls and another electron gets boosted to a high energy level into what's called a primary electron acceptor that's in the thylakoid membrane, and that passes it off to the electron transport chain of photosystem one. It flows to the enzyme NADP plus reductase, and NADP plus reductase creates NADPH from NADP plus and a proton. So we have the two products of the light reactions, ATP and NADPH, beautifully explained by the Z scheme. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.